Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will go through the best ways to make some gold during this week 3 of patch 9.1 um, and I will really try to explain how you can uh, make profit with all these different ways. Please keep in mind that again, some of these methods might work on some realms and might not work on your realm. So always check first the market uh, and do a little bit of research before starting to do one of these uh, methods without uh, being sure that you will actually make some profit on your realm. So yes. So let's start with what I think uh, this week and next week is going to be the best way to make some gold. And these are, of course, the legendaries. So as I explained in my previous videos, um, with patch 9.1, we can now craft um, rank 5 and rank 6 legendaries. So as you can see, these are 249 eye level and 262. And basically, uh, to craft these different items, you need a base set item that is rank 3 or 4. And then you need to apply um, another thing, a uh, vestige um, that you can craft with 40 of these Cortite crystals and other um, materials, and then you can upgrade by two ranks. So if you have a rank 3, you can upgrade to rank 5. If you have a rank 4, you can upgrade to rank 6. So this week, people can only use uh, the rank 5. Only next week, people will be able to start upgrading their legendaries to uh, rank 6, so high level 262. So Hopefully, all these different items will sell. As you can see right now, the prices are still very, very high on uh, my realm, but probably they will decrease a little bit um, as soon as more people start crafting them. And, um, you know, if the, the items does, don't sell, of course, uh, we'll have to also reduce a little bit the prices. But I think really uh, these legendaries will uh, be the most profitable items uh, this week and next week. Keep in mind that some people might not be interested in buying a rank 5 when they can directly buy the rank 6 next week. But again, this week you might also sell some rank 5 and already some rank 6 because some people might prepare for next week. So for me, really, this is how you're going to be able to make a lot of gold. Of course, again, uh, all the different ranks. Uh, so from rank four to rank two or one are still good, especially in rank four and three. Um, I'm still selling like a lot of them. As you can see here, for instance, just sold one of these legs, rank four for 95K. So you will still be able to make a lot of gold. But uh, yeah, really try to focus a little bit on the rank 5 and the rank 6 and this is how you're gonna maximize your profit with the legendaries also when it comes to the legendaries um, keep in mind that the Cortite crystals can be very very profitable as well again I made a full video on um, these crystals and how to make some gold with them and keep in mind that people will start more and more to craft all these legendaries but again you need 40 of you know, these crystals to craft one rank four, uh, five or one rank six. So it requires a lot. And trust me, um, the prices are just going to increase and increase on these crystals. For instance, um, I bought all the stocks on my realm and now it's going for 7k, which is insane. And you can only have 63 at the moment. So this is uh, also another way to make some gold through all these different legendaries is just by uh, buying and reselling these Cortite crystals. So let's now talk about the second best way to make some gold. And in my opinion, it's going to be uh, the BOE farming. So I'm only putting it at number um, two because with this rate, Sanctuary of Domination, the drop rate is really, really low. I made a full video on how to farm these BOEs, um, and a lot of people commented that they apparently, you know, farm um, BOEs for countless of hours and they didn't receive anything. And I also did it myself. I haven't received any BOEs, and probably like I was only seeing one drop every like two or three runs. So it's definitely. Um, you know, hard, like more difficult than in Castle Nathria to receive these BOEs. But the price is, is still really good, especially because this week you can farm the different BOEs in Mythic difficulty, which will have um, an item high level of 200, 252. Again, to farm uh, in Mythic difficulty, you need to have people 
who are part of your realm or cross realm. Um, and then you can, of course, farm all the different trash as in Eric or normal. Uh, these BOEs will for sure sell for a lot, trust me. Uh, but again, I'm just putting it at number two because unfortunately the drop rate is so low that even if it's very profitable to have these items, it's going to take a lot of time. So for me, you will make more profit through the legendaries than through these um, BOEs for sure. But they are still very good. Also, Eric is still uh, decent. So if you cannot find groups for Mythic, just do also some uh, Eric runs. At number three, uh, we have something that um, won't really apply to everyone, but I'm pretty sure that this week, one of the best way to make some gold is gonna be boosting. So boosting activities uh, can be from Mythic Plus to Raid uh, to PVP or also Torghast. And um, with the release of the Mythic version, more and more people will be able to start uh, making these boosts in Eric. Um, and also more and more people are starting to make boosts in PVP, rated RBGs or arenas. So this is gonna be probably like a really one of the most profitable um, activity at the moment. Again, I'm not putting it at number one because this is really only uh, accessible by a small amount of players. Uh, but still, this is something that will be very profitable and I'm sure that a lot of people will start making a lot of gold with the new raid, the new uh, rated PvP uh, season and of course the Mythic Plus. So if you're a good player and you want to make some gold by boosting, um, it's up to you to see you know, if you can join a community, if you can do it on your own. But uh, yes, this is something that uh, will definitely be uh, very profitable this week and in the coming weeks. At the fourth position, um, I will actually put again the character realm transfer. So I'm not going to explain. Uh, you can see all the different videos when I'm talking about that. But basically, you're just, um, you know, creating a character on a realm, buying a lot of items there. It can be from Cortad crystals and other materials to uh, crafted legendary items or BOEs or mounts. And then you just transfer this character with everything and you just resell on another realm. Um, again, you can make hundreds of millions with this uh, method with all the rank four and rank five, uh, rank five and rank six, uh, and also all the different BOEs. Trust me, um, you know, a lot of people are going to start doing it. Um, on my realm, there is already a lot of people who are coming and who are selling all these different items when they're not from the realm. One quickly uh, way to see if, for instance, uh, someone, you know, like crafted the item on your realm or if it's coming from a normal realm. Basically here, for instance, as you can see, um, you have here made by like the name of the player here too. And here when there is no name, these are the items that are from someone who brought them from a normal realm. So really this is, you know, like the case with everything and um, you can just check. So for instance, if you don't want to, you know, like pay these people, then you can choose to buy it from someone from where you're in. But really this is the way uh, to see, um, you know, the amount of people who are bringing all these different items um, from, you know, other realms. Of course, it, it only works with crafted items. For instance, these ones, I know that this one has been brought by this player, but you know, it's not written because it wasn't crafted, uh, but yeah. So these, uh, you know, like uh, different cross realms goal making methods will be definitely valuable and profitable. But again, as for the boosting activities, this is something that can only really, uh, you know, apply to a couple of players who have the time, the resources, and who are willing to take the risk uh, to invest in these different items and in this character transfer. Uh, so that's why I'm only putting it at uh, number four. But definitely, this is also very profitable and again there are, you know i made a guide on this there are other guides on youtube if you're interested now at number five um i would say that for me this week still uh the different um BOEs that you can craft so the 230 and also the 200 because um they also sell for a lot are going to be a good way to make some gold i personally sold a lot so just for you to know, uh, the 230, you can actually only equip one. As you can see, it's written, unique, equipped, Shadowlands crafted. 
and then you have the 200 and these ones the 200 there is no uh limit so the 200 you can really um sell you know like you uh, equip as many as you want so that's why people will usually buy one 230 and then buy the rest in 200. um so this is really a good way to make some gold i'm personally making a lot with all these different uh, items as you can see here just sold like three of them uh, on many realms i'm sure it's still very profitable um so please feel free to you know like uh, craft these items sell them um i'm pretty sure for at least you know a couple more weeks they will still be very profitable then they will remain profitable probably on the long term but with uh you know like a decreased value when it comes to the six spots, um, I would say that really the materials are going to be more and more interesting to farm. So on many realms, I'm sure that, you know, there starts to have like a scarcity, for instance, in terms of quartite crystals, in types of other materials, such as the, the Kalos Heights and other materials, because a lot of people are crafting, whether it's rank four, but also the rank five and rank six legendaries. They're also crafting all these other um, 230 BOEs I just mentioned so um people are buying a lot and using a lot of these different materials and uh, on some realms uh, mostly medium and low pop they might have some scarcity and the prices might go up uh, so you will be able to make um, a lot of gold with farming all these different materials and of course also on high pop even if sometimes the prices don't change too much you'll still be able to sell a lot and very fast at number seven uh, and this is maybe something I could have mentioned before, but I think uh, flipping the auction house is really going to be interesting. Again, right now at the moment, a lot of items, because this is the first week that, for instance, people can start using the 249 uh, item level legendaries and also that people can start farming uh, mythic BOEs and things like that. So the prices of all these items is going to stay very high. But again, by buying and reselling all these different items, you can make a lot of gold. Um, it just, you know, like, um, it's a matter of maybe someone making a mistake, no, like someone not knowing the price of the value of an item. And then you can, you know, like, uh, buy it and resell it for a huge profit. For instance, on my realm, someone, um, sold this pair of gloves for only 30 K. I think he wanted to put it for 300 K. And so, yeah, I just bought it and, um, for sure, I'm going to resell it at, at least 300 K, something like that. So yeah, that's a huge profit. But again, it was just because I was lucky. Um, right now, I'm mostly looking at the weapons. I'm selling a lot of these weapons. For instance, I bought one, uh, you know, like uh, one day ago, like this sword at 20K and just sold it for 65K. So all these different items, you can still make a decent amount of gold with them. Uh, so I would say that flipping the auction house is really going to be profitable. I'm just putting it a little bit after because I think all these other activities will be more profitable uh, during this week because everybody is, you know, like uh, uh, crafting a lot of items, selling a lot of things. And so it's going to be just, you know, like faster. But again, just stay vigilant and try to see if there are, you know, good deals on the auction house and then buy them. Of course, again, guys, check your market. Um, this is always taking a risk. Uh, but yeah, just check the market and make sure that it's not too risky. And then you will should, you should be able to make some gold, uh, by buying and selling all these different, uh, items on the auction house. At number eight, uh, I would of course put all the different crafted, um, items. For instance, uh, the, the missives on some realms can sell for a lot. I sold a lot recently, uh, really like since, uh, you know, like, um, yesterday I'm really selling a lot, as you can see. You can sell like, you know, like um, many of these items, but on some realms, I know that the prices is, is not interesting enough. So me right now, it's not too bad. So that's why I'm selling some, but on some realm, again, it can be like, uh, not a good investment. So check. And of course you have also all these different enchants and all the different potions and, you know, like food and all these different, uh, crafted, uh, consumables and, um, you know, like enchants that you can. Uh, sell on the auction house. So this is an additional way to make some gold. Definitely. It's not going to be the most profitable, but it's a nice little addition. Um, and yeah, just, I think, you know, it's still worth mentioning and still worth, uh, you know, looking into it. So if you, uh, are able to craft some of these items, just check the value on your realm and you might, um, you know, be able to make a little bit of gold with these different items.
At number nine, I will put something that um, is interesting, maybe not on all realms, but definitely something I want to mention. And these are the cosmetic items uh, from Corthia that you are able to farm since uh, patch 9.1. Uh, basically, these are all these different shoulder uh, pads and you can, you know, like um, farm many of them. As you can see, the sell rate on some of these items is really good here, 1.3. Uh, 0.78 on some of them it's pretty bad 0.06 but these items can sell uh, a lot of people are buying them and um, this is you know like a nice um, alternative to all these over crafting uh, farms and all the different things you can do right now this is a nice uh, you know alternative if you like farming transmogs things like that you might be interested in farming these cosmetic um, items and again, guys, uh, these can sell for a lot. I'm only putting it at number eight because again, the thing is that the time you get one of these items, the time you get a good one, that is, you know, like either having a really good price or a, like a really good sell rate, well, it will take some time. And then also you'll need, you know, like probably like a couple of days at least uh, to sell these different items. So I'm only putting them here because again, like in terms of, Direct benefits, um, this one is a lot of investment and uh, maybe, you know, like uh, not the most efficient uh, way to make some gold right now at the moment. Um, but again, it's still a nice uh, side activity and uh, something that you might be interested in having up on your auction house. So at number 10, and I will finish with that, as always, uh, we have all the old content farm. So it can be from transmog items to, um, you know, like mount and things like that. All these different items can still sell for a lot. Um, and again, this is really something that uh, if you're interested in, uh, you can still invest a little bit of time in. It's nice to diversify a little bit. Um, for instance, here, it's a very, very good uh, offer. Um, so I'm going to buy this one, actually, snipe it. Um, but yeah, all these old content farms are still uh, relevant. Maybe not as profitable as legendaries and, you know, all these overcrafted items and BOEs that you can do right now, but still a nice way to make some gold. So I highly encourage you to do it if you are interesting interested in all these other older content farms and yeah so that will be it for uh this week guys um keep in mind that there's going to have a lot of changes a lot of these items might be good this week and might not be as good next week um, but right now i think uh this is uh, you know like a list that is pretty good for like pretty much all realms again on some high pop realms some of these items might not be as profitable as others and on some low pop uh, it might take a lot of you know like investment or a lot of, um, of time to sell and craft all these different legendaries so again guys just check your market and uh, you'll see if this is something you should invest time and gold in or not so i will see you guys very soon for another video i'll probably make a video on uh, what are the most um, selling legendaries very, very soon. Uh, and yeah, after that, I'll come back with uh, over unclaimed black market openings and over content. Um, but yeah, stay tuned and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.